the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love me and the fame. fame, 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 fame. What up, everybody? Charles Macro here today, back again, jumping back into Fishing Planet. All right, guys, I'm coming to you today to discuss something, and I want you guys to hit me in the comment box and let me know your opinion, your take on what you should spend your bait coins on. Now, I have my theory. I've been playing Fishing Planet quite a while, some years now, really dug into the game, uh, grinding. I haven't spent any actual money on the game. I've done everything through in-game play. Now, I do plan to spend some money, and I'm going to do another video on what you should spend real-world money on in Fishing Planet as a free-to-play game. Let me know in the comment box and hit me with a like if you want to see that and if you want to discuss that. As we know, you get bait coins for free, and you also can purchase them. You get bait coins daily just for logging in. Every five straight days, you get one bait coin, but then you also get them for catching certain amounts of fish, using certain types of rods, and also doing missions. Now, these are some of the missions I've completed. Exploring, these are the easier the easiest level missions that you basically explore the lake that you go to or the river and you catch all the fish on the list and you'll get a bait coin and you also get very rare lure this lure costs bait coins to get this is a really good lure you get hooks here are more lure but you always are getting bait coins now also if you do the mastering missions you also get bait coins and great really valuable valuable lure shit i got three bait coins for that collecting i got three bait coins fishing monsters so you get bait coins for all these and special lure or tackle as we look at the shop there are two things i recommend that you spend your bait coins on now if you know others again hit me in the comment box let me know your opinion if you're an experienced fishing planet player or if you're new and you're just thinking it out after seeing the game and playing it one of the first things i think you should do it i say get hooks or lure that you have to spend bait coins on but only specific ones look out for the missions that you have to use barbless tackle barbless hooks or barbless lure because you will win it back you'll win back whatever you spend i got this and i actually won and i've even won a contest that you had to use barbless hooks and i won back bait coins on these different sport tournaments or sport competitions okay now you also can go through certain lure this barbless jig head I got for a mission and for a competition. There are barbless objectives, barbless jig head objectives that if you just use this and just fish, I won three bait coins. I probably won five or six total just fishing, catching fish regularly. So it was a great investment. I got five off of spending one. This red and white stripe casting spoon will catch you plenty of fish, whether at Lone Star Lake, the first lake, or some of the other lakes with bass. You'll catch bass and pike left and right with this one. So this is a great one to purchase. These barbless nano spinners, I've invested in barbless nano spinners, and man, just get one. All you need is one, like this dark one right here, this gold and black trout. You'll make crazy money. Get you a number two or a number one. I would say the number one, give you the most range, and go to like Colorado, go to Falcon, catch those trout. You'll make plenty of money and you'll earn this back. You'll get bait coins because you'll catch so many trout and complete so many missions. Look at the lure, look at the missions, and buy only one or two. Don't spend more than five, 10 max because you want to earn it back, but you will earn a lot because those lure will be valuable. Now, you may want to buy some tools and equipment like fish gels or stands. I don't recommend it because bait coins are so rare, and you'll get some of these earlier ones like this. You're just going to have to get your level way up, and you'll get equivalents. Okay, but don't spend your bait coins early on these unless you bought bait coins and you have extra, all right? Just grind it, just save up, get to level 40, but don't use it on tools and tackle okay there are a few live bait that might be worth it but for the most part you can get all of these as long as you level up so i don't recommend spending bait coins on live bait either and i didn't spend it on lure until i was at like level 20. i don't really recommend spending it on lure early hold on to your bait coins just save your bait coins okay save them and really think about where you want to use them now the main thing i think you should spend your bait coins on are licenses Okay, if you look, you have your advanced license and then you have your basic license. The unlimited licenses are the greatest investment and I'm gonna tell you why. Now I've just saved up 250 bait coins, right? This has just been all through gameplay. I haven't spent any money on this game as of yet, but I am gonna do so. And again, I'm gonna do a video. So be on the lookout for that. Hit me in the comment box if you wanna see that and we can discuss that. Now to travel to White Moose, which is Alberta, 
It costs 7,800 for the travel. Then it costs a thousand every in-game day. So every day that I fish their in-game, I have to keep paying a thousand just to stay there when I go to a new day. So that's already almost 9,000 just in travel. And each day you will have to pay that, but that's in-game days, okay? Now the license for Alberta costs 4,000, as I said. So if you're thinking 9,000 or 4,000, that's about 13, thousand that you spend in total to get there and then every real life day that i stay there even if i have something to do if i'm only there for 20 minutes and i fish and only make 1500 and then i come back the next day i have to respend four thousand every single day so you can literally go there and lose twelve thousand over the course of three days if you don't fish and constantly earn back now the way to negate that is to spend this 250. now alberta is one of my favorite there are a few lakes where you can farm and catch a lot louisiana has some good farms you see it costs 500. michigan 600. california 800. alaska a thousand for the advanced license and remember always get the advance and it just goes up from there the last lake is 2200 bay coins and i just saved 250 over the course of a couple years to buy the daily license cost is ten thousand so that means the travel is probably twenty thousand probably thirty thousand to go to this lake and then ten thousand a day that's a lot of money but if you had twenty two hundred bay coins you could just buy it but it takes forever I think you only get one free every five days so it would take you years to get this if you just did it that way you have to do missions you have to enter tournaments if you enter tournaments if you play these missions, you'll get lures, but you have to get to the point where you start winning these competitions and tournaments to win bait coins. For instance, if you place in this musky competition, you win 16 bait coins. So if you're in these competitions every day, you can win, but they're hard. I catch tons of fish and I enter the competition and sometimes don't catch anything. So you have to be careful of that. So to put a nice little bow on it, I recommend very select lure, very select bait, hooks, certain tackle. That's the only thing I would spend bait coins on, but I recommend really just saving all your bait coins and pick lakes that you want to fish at. I'm gonna show you the other lakes that I recommend. If you don't feel like waiting as long as I did to save this 250, which Alberta is right in the middle. It's the best one in the middle. 250, I, I was willing to wait here. I'm not gonna wait to 500. I'm not gonna wait to 1,000. 250 was a good midpoint. The Texas one is seven, since that's the one you'll always have to go back to. Decent investment. I'll probably get this one next once I make five more, which I will probably make very soon. Colorado's a good lake, so that 50. Emerald Lake in New York, this 80. This will be probably the next best one to get because this is the one you always go back to. Now I can afford it. It only costs a thousand or so each day to travel there. I think it's about two or four. But if you wanna make sure you never have to keep paying for this 900 a day license, gonna spend that 80 here. This is the one where I made the most money. I probably made 500,000 here easy maybe a million oregon is another good one save this 150 if i didn't save for alberta's 250 oregon is another great one i made 50,000 here in like a day of real life play maybe two using a three ride system you can earn a lot of money you'll earn 25,000 a day if your keep net is big enough uh, even if it's small you might earn 10 to 15 a day in game so you can make good money here with a three ride setup I actually like North Carolina. That's a decent one. Florida is a decent one. If you can save it for that 180 Florida, you can have some big catches there. And Alberta is the one I'm choosing. And then if you can afford these or you want to wait or say you bought some premium, Louisiana is a good license to get. Michigan, California, Alaska, Germany has some pike. It has some Xander. You can make good money on those, although it's mainly float feeder fishing. I don't like those lakes. Mississippi is a decent lake. It has bass, it has gar. Peru, if you can afford it, you'll get some good catches as well. Bolivia, I mean, this is the last lake. So if you can afford this, you're gonna make some really good money here as well in Bolivia, all right? So it would also be worth it if you have it. So I am gonna go ahead and whoo, this is who man to spend this money. I gotta record this. I'm gonna go ahead and make this purchase of this advanced license from Alberta. Let's go down to unlimited and let's do it. Bam! Oh, my first advanced license. My first advanced license. Whoo, hey, that's rough. They're down to two. I had 250 to go. Oh man. So yes. Hit me in the comment box, let me know what you think, okay? Let me know what you would do with your bait coins. Are there other things that I forgot or that I overlooked that you would purchase? Let me know, let me know, man. This is unlimited just like, man, this is unlimited just like Lone Star's basic 
Wow. So all I got to pay now is the travel cost, which I'm about to do. Uh, I have everything that I should need. So all I got to do is make this 8,000 back. I can make that in one day of fishing. Uh, normally here, when I fill up my keep net, I make a good 20 something thousand. When my keep net was at about 100, I would make about 10 to 12. I would make anywhere from about eight, nine to 11, 12 a day, depending on the fish. You'll catch some 40 pounders here. They'll earn you 2,000, 1,500. Very, very good catches. They also have pike here that make really good money. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is also buy a kayak. The kayaks are 20. So what I'm gonna do is earn this travel cost back. I'm gonna test out my new rod that I just bought. I bought a replacement reel for this line here. So we're gonna do some spin fishing and I'm also do some float and some match fishing. What I'm gonna do is match this and then make about 20,000 more. That way I can buy my kayak for 20,000 and there's some kayak fishing that you can do at this lake and others. So I'm gonna do some videos on those. Hit me in the comment box if you wanna see videos on kayak fishing as well, guys. All right. I jumped into this competition. The entry fee is 1,100. The reward is 61,000 so far and five bait coins. So hey, why not try, right? Why not try? So be on the lookout. I'm gonna do a video on that. Let's go ahead and travel to the lake. We don't need to get us a license. We already have it. Nice. Yes, that is the investment. If you start playing Fish and Planet, that is the investment I recommend you save for. Wow, these are some new loading screens. I say save up and get Alberta. You will make a ton of money. Now that I don't have to spend 4,000 each day, that'll be even more profit every time I stay here. It's just even more profit. That 4,000 will cut into my money, so I'm gonna make a lot more money. It's only 1,000 a day. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this competition, guys. Let me go ahead and get ready. I actually joined the competition one time and I didn't realize that you had to get ready. That really threw me off. All right, guys, so hit me in that comment box. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share this so others can check me out. Let me know what you think and what you recommend using your bait coins on. All right, Charles Macro, Fishing Planet. Thank you for stopping through. And I'm gonna holla at you. Peace. So guys, before we go, I wanted to thank you one more time for supporting Charles Macro and the Macro Elite. You are elevating your logic, your intellect, and your thinking every day. Now, if you want to support, there are other ways that you can do so. So check out this little promo, and it'll tell you some ways that you can truly be down. And thank you once again. And for you guys that want to support further, go to charlesmacro.com shop. There you can buy t-shirts, you can buy other merch like coffee mugs, onesies, bargains, caps. You also can support by buying and checking out my music. I have the I Run The Game album that is out on all the digital retailers, the iTunes, the Spotify's. And in fact, if you're on Spotify, go on there, I Run The Game, the album, Charles Macro Music, look that up and add me to a playlist, all right? That will help me get up on the charts as well and earn money off that music if you're feeling it like you're feeling the intro, okay? And go subscribe to the new Charles Macro Music channel, all right? You also can hit my Amazon affiliate links down below. You don't have to buy any of those products. Just click the link, then buy whatever you were planning to buy. That helps me get a little love, okay? Then we have Patreon, Cash App, YouTube membership program. I'm gonna be getting subscribe stars soon if you wanna support that way. Of course, I'm on IG, Twitter, Discord, Facebook, any of those social medias you wanna follow me on, see some other things, some pictures, some, some regular life stuff, my photography business. A video going on there follow like subscribe share thank you guys once again just for the support charles macro thank you for stopping through and i'm gonna holla at you peace i run the game i run the game i run the i run the macro my name i run the game i do this for the love they love me and the fame i run the game i run the game